Well, hello, story chasers. I guess I messed up. So in today's video about the sea turtles, I mentioned in there that I went to the worst 1,000 trails ever and that I left, but somehow there's a missing clip from my video. I don't know what happened. That's the first for me. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. So I got a lot of questions from you guys asking me like what happened. So, whoops, this fan is a little hot. So I'm very, very sorry. I don't know what happened, but here, I'm gonna make it up to you. I'm doing this quick video. I'm gonna post it the same day that the sea turtle video came out. If you haven't seen the sea turtle video and you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, just click up here. I'll uh, link the video there. But here's the deal is I had this Breezy Hills Thousand Trails scheduled in Pompano Beach, Florida. It's supposed to be a resort. It's an encore resort and I went there. They gave me this little envelope so that I could find my campsite with all the information, how to get into the gate, everything. There was nobody there to check me in whatsoever. The most beautiful part of the campground was the office to check in. Everything else was awful, guys. So here's what I mean by that is I get to my campsite. First of all, I pull in and everything like changes almost immediately. It's very bad looking. It's, it looks like you went to the worst part of a very urban city and that's where you were going to live. It was that bad. And all, like my campsite specifically, it looked like an earthquake had happened about 10 times. The concrete was busted up and buckling. There was no electricity to the 30 amp that was there. It was all rusted, um, the box itself, it was very rusted. I was not even sure I wanted to plug into it, but I was like, all right, let me just try it. It should be okay, this is Thousand Trails. No, it didn't even work. There was a lot of campsites that were empty over there, and I'm sure people thought the same thing that I did. So then they have a sheet that they included inside the envelope that said, hey, if this particular site didn't work for you for some reason, here's about 20 other sites that you could go to. I went to all of those sites and they were all occupied. So I don't know what the deal was with that. Maybe other people had the same issue that I did and they had already been there and found those sites. But otherwise it could have just been an old piece of paper that they would just kept recycling and say, go to these sites, but they were all occupied. Then I thought, okay, while I'm here, let me go take a shower. Let me fill up with water. No, even the water faucet itself, it was busted along the edges where the threads were at. I couldn't hook my hose up to it. I went to the area where there was a shower and as I suspected, it was so disgusting, gross. Things were falling apart. Um, how do I say this? Uh, there was questionable people there like I was literally nervous for my safety. So um, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> it just looked like the worst part of a city, like that was a high crime area. It was really bad guys. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back. And I left that day. I like literally, I tried to make it work. I thought this is so odd. I can't believe this. Maybe I'm just, you know, maybe it's just this particular site. And then I went around and looked at all these other places. It was just bad. It's not well kept up at all. It just was bad. And so I left and I opted for a Cracker Barrel instead of having, you know, technically full hookups, though I didn't even have full hookups because I couldn't even plug anything in or hook anything up. So anyways, and it was hot outside too. So I just, dealt with it at the Cracker Barrel for several days until I ended up getting a hotel room and yeah <laughs> which I just gave myself away because that's coming up in a new another video <laughs> I keep doing that <laughs> I wore my NASA hat the other day in my video well you guys haven't seen me go to the Kennedy Space Center yet <laughs> so, uh, I'm getting things out of order all right, anyways, that's what happened with the Thousand Trails. I apologize profusely for somehow not getting that clip in there. So um, there you have it. I would not recommend Thousand Trails, Breezy Hill in Pompano Beach, Florida. It was the worst of the worst. And it cracks me up that they call it a resort. 
it is not a resort by any stretch of the imagination. I actually called and complained to about it to Thousand Trails and to Encore Resort, of which nobody called me back on. They didn't say one word to me about it, <laughs> nothing. I'm gonna post this video online as a separate video, of course. I'm also gonna post the link to this video in the sea turtles in the Florida Keys video so that you guys can go over and watch it from there. So I really apologize, guys. But I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.